So in this video, we're going to build an effects rack in a slightly different way. We're going to actually get the rack, an empty rack first and put the effects devices into it. I've got a drum loop here and I just want to add something to it. It feels a little bit bland at the moment. I want to put my own personal flavor on it. So what we're going to do is we're going to drop in corpus. Now we could drag into the actual audio effects rack. So this is ready to go now. And if you remember the fourth week, Dan Herbert showed you a lot of stuff to do with this kind of modeling. And we can put the characteristic of these elements into the sound. So I'm gonna go through a few of these. There's something I've got in my head that I wanna go for. I think this is gonna work. So let's just have a listen how it is at the moment. Let's bring the dry wet mix up. And I'm not gonna imagine that we're gonna need a lot of wet signal here to be honest. Now the moment that's too high in pitch, so I'm gonna bring the tuning down. There's a texture I really like there. I'm gonna bring this back a bit. But the problem is because of this setting, we've got that kind of ringing vibe. Let's have a listen to some of the others. Still a little bit too metallic. A little bit too futuristic. There we go, that's more like it. So just decay a bit longer. You can really feel that. Remember you could map this to a control as well. But actually all I want is an effect that I can process something in a static way. Let's try before and after. See now it's got that really heavy, almost overbearing swallowing yourself up in a, a room kind of vibe you know like if you're in the middle of the ministry of sound the box about 5 a.m uh, you get this kind of a flavor so this is something that's got a real nice edge to it now so just a little bit of decay on there just fine tuning it having a listen that's lengthening that long kick there that's working really nicely real subtle dry wet mix now what I want to do next is I want to add some kind of crisp highs. I want to add a, an edge to it. So I want to look for some distortion. I'm actually going to select the guitar effect here. And let me just undo that because you know it's very important for you to see the aiming here. I'm just going to drag it just inside the rack here. So before I actually dragged it just a little bit too far here, which meant it was just adding a new effect as an insert after this rack. So just want to tuck it inside there. There we go. And this amp, as I said, is designed for guitars. Now, I don't want it to be heavily distorted. I want just another little edge to this. So let's see how it feels with a bit of the wet signal here. And I'm going to go clean here. So have a listen to this. I'm going to take it off. Can you hear that lovely little fizziness? Let's take off both. It sounds really dry and dead without it. And that's not to knock the drum loop. It was a great drum loop to start off with, but I just felt I wanted a little bit more personality. So this is what I'm gonna call the mashup nicely device. I'm gonna save this. And this is an insert effect. So follow those steps, you can get something similar, make some adjustments if you want, try different models over here, and also to adjust decay to taste, that's essentially lengthening your kick drum. And also you could adjust the tuning, so if your track feels like that that's actually clashing with your musical elements, you can adjust this up or down to help it fit. At Point Blank Online, you've got two methods of interaction with your tutor. Firstly, you've got the weekly online masterclass, which is in real time. And then also we've got feedback on your assignments, and that's known as DVR. So the online masterclass is a one hour session you get with your tutor every week. You can ask questions about the lesson content and get instant feedback and also demonstrations on the fly from their computer desktop with our streaming technology. DVR stands for Direct Video Response, and the concept is really simple. 
you upload your Ableton Logic or Cubase project file to your tutor, he downloads it and then pushes record on the screen capturing software and evaluates your work. So basically giving you one-to-one -one feedback. You see all of the mouse movements and any parameter changes made by your tutor. It's kind of like sitting in the studio over their shoulder watching what they're doing whilst they work. We have found the DVR process has truly revolutionized the way that we teach online and the results speak for themselves. Book your place on a course now by visiting pointblankonline.net.